and grab me a coffee. Extra sugar, on the double. <laughs> You're fired. Wait, what? Everybody and welcome to Hypnagogia Boundless Dreams. I hope I said that correctly this time. This is the sequel to the original Hypnagogia, which I played uh, previously to this uh, playthrough. We are going to be treating that game as basically the early levels of this game. So I am going to be referencing it freely, and I apologize now. If, uh, you know, that you start here and you don't get a reference or something, um, including how to pronounce the name, <laughs> they explain how to pronounce the name in that game. That game was a Ichio game originally made for an LSD dream simulator jam, and it did well enough that the creator, Soda Raptor, decided to make a full length, uh, available on Steam as of right now sequel. This is a lot very if you weren't here for the first game this game or this series is very similar to lsd dream simulator except it's not random it's a structured progressive set of events and it's you know updated with a uh, western sense of uh and it's slightly more western only slightly as far as i'm aware uh as you can tell by the uh moon runes on the page but I it very much enjoyed the original Ichio game. I, like I said, I had played it right before this playthrough. It should be like right there on my channel if you're watching this uh, the day it comes out. Um, I recommend starting there. I recommend starting with episode one on that series and then watching them as a full playthrough. This immediately looks amazing, by the way. Uh, the original looked great too, but this immediately you get that uh, <laughs> Dreamcast couldn't do this back in the day, levels of quality. Uh, start a new dream, any previous progress? Pro yes. New dream. I can't read today, I'm sorry.
you are finally here. We have waited for so very long. But we must wait just a little longer. You are needed now more than you can ever imagine. All you must do is dream. Wow, um, well, I thought this was going to be a standalone sequel, but I appear to be incorrect on that. Uh, it does appear that it, 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 that it showed characters you wouldn't know unless you played the original. Um, Shadow Figure, we, uh, had named Slenderman previously. I don't know its real name. Um, that's not the one that eats dreams. It, that's, oh, that guy's orange with, like, a shy guy face. Um, this makes sense if you've watched the original, I'm sorry. Um, and then the rabbit, I called him Gogi, which, while editing, I realized was a mispronunciation. It's probably Goji, which I like way more. <laughs> so I'm gonna call him Goji from now on. Um, I've been calling him that off screen, at least. But yeah, it look, he saved us, uh, in the previous game. He stopped us from having our nightmares eaten dreams eaten whatever so we could wake up basically he, he stopped us from entering a coma so we actually really owe him um can we jump yeah hey goji i also noticed that goji now has a bell i don't know if that's relevant or not but you know design changes i hope goji's okay hey, we need to save him this is nowhere, eh? God. By the way, if you like good vibes, this game series, both this and the free first game. Yeah, by the way, the first game is free. You know, if you're if you're trying to decide whether or not you buy this game, you can play the first game for free. Um But the vibes in these games are just insane. I love them. Even LSD Dream Simulator had nothing compared to these vibes, man. Like, look at, look at this. Sorry, Goji, you can, you can continue to be in peril just a little bit longer. Just kind of get it some night. Yeah, look at that. That is some living wallpaper level of, uh, of good vibes, man. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be recording just so much of this and the first game for my, uh, game ambience channel. Whoop. Oh, I thought I would be going straight up. Oh, Hello. Wee! I think. Ooh. Hey, Goji, you okay, man? You doing all right, brother? Oh, wow. That's so cool. Look, look at this. This is like mist with the Y levels of holy shit environment. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm gushing. This is this is a game made by one person, a relatively one person. And, uh, <laughs> and it looks great. So, you know me. I love these types of games. <laughs> I'm already gushing. Hey, Goji. How's it going, man? I forgot what your voice was. Hello there, Restful Wood. Do not be afraid. Or, um, what voice did I give you? Hello there, Restful... I don't know. It's not that, no. He. Hello there, restful one. Do not be afraid. Are you lost? Or are you here for a reason? Um, I don't know why I'm giving you the dumbest voice, by the way. I, I probably should have double-checked the playthrough of the first game to figure out what voice I gave him. I'm gonna give you a normal voice. <laughs> or, or at least a little more, not a, as dumb sounding. There's, most of you are like, what are you talking about? You're not even doing a voice. Yeah, no. <laughs> We are nowhere. Nothing but a vast, infinite kingdom populated with the densest of emptiness. Reverberated only by the first steps you take on a journey not yet started. Go on. 
one step at a time, restful one. There is much to be done, and much to be seen. Would you like to learn how to play? Sure. Your first time, is it? Not really. Very well, I'll provide a little information. Oh, hello, I'm using a keyboard. Please take a moment to view these controls. You can also adjust your field of view and other options in the pause menu if you desire. Okay, wait, we have crouch now. Okay, that's new. Jump, crouch, interact. Everything looks to be standard in terms of movement. We have zoom now. I don't know if we had that before, but we do now. Oh, and progress is tracked using the autosave function. When you see this icon in the bottom left, you can safely quit the experience. One last thing. If, you ever f if you're ever feeling lost, just look to the light. You'll know it when you see it. That is all I have to share for now. Basically, don't fight the signposting. Remember this, restful one. There will be many people to speak with, many conversations to have. Temper your patience accordingly. Don't overuse your recently discovered robot voices. Please travel the bridge ahead and enter the gate that opens before you. We are all excited to see what you can do. Alright, bye Goji. Please don't die. I, I owe you for the first game. Yeah, you, you're, you're a good dude. Good dude, man. At least I think you're a dude. Uh, you're a rabbit. <laughs> Space! Whoa. Whoa! Oh. Your first steps achievement. Wow, that is one hell of an opener. <laughs> I thought we'd be like sent to the dream hub. That's what it showed at the beginning. Yeah, this place. Ho-oh? Are we fighting Pokemans? Not complaining, just, you know. We have a body! Whoa! Is that us? We have a physical body this time! Well, I'll be damned. Oh shit, if we have a physical body this time, that means we could die. Seems as though I have a visitor. God, I'm blind. Whoa. This is one of those cases where on one of my screens, the screen is purple, and on the other one of my screens, it's blue. I'll try to blue it up a little bit when we get to the... when I edit. Future me, blue it up a little. <laughs> yeah, we have a full body. Look at that. And a little, little thing in the bottom. I pressed escape and I think I broke it. Okay, escape brings up my mouse, but it doesn't bring up a menu. It's still tabbed. Then what the fuck was escape doing? Oh. Oh, you're not ho- oh, you're more of a- um, like a vulture, but- Flamingo-y. Flamingo vulture. Kinda like it. Except you're wearing shorts. Oh no, is this a furry game? You know what? I... I'll take it for the imagery. You know what? Imagery alone. I'll- I'll- I'll, I'll accept the furriness just for a bit. Hmm. You've seemed to have stumbled into quite the little dream. Curious. Very... Convenient. Wow, you are... Magnificent. Welcome to the Nexus for everything that exists as you currently know it. Which is to say isn't much right now, unfortunately. You may yet have a role to play as these events begin to unfold. Things are not as they normally are, you see. Forgive me, where are my manners? I am called Hitno. You know, like the Pokemon. Except I'm a different Pokemon. You get it? 
I am the guardian of this place. No relation to the god Hypnos. I am sure you have many questions, or none at all, perhaps. Where are we? We are in the Dream Nexus, of course, the origin of which is not important, but to you it acts as a means to an end. It is the hub of this game, you see. It is a temporary space used for passing through from one world to the next, a metaphorical series of interconnecting tubes and tunnels. Which, for the sake of this game, might be more literal than metaphorical, now that I think about it. You know what a hub level is, this isn't your first game. Uh, what's going on? The precious dream crystal has shattered unexpectedly, as opposed to expectedly shattering. Its fragments spread throughout consciousness, without it much is left unstable and broken. Dream crystal? Yes, the dream crystal. Think of it as the living beating heart of everything you've ever imagined and have yet to imagine. And it's also the thing floating above us. Look, it's just a way to justify the game. Stop asking questions, you're just here to look at dreams. If you're going to question dreams of all things, then you're just wasting both our time here. This game might not be for you. As a whole entity, it keeps in check the flow of all conscious and subconscious information. Broken however, things are left to form how they please, which is a bad thing apparently. Remnants? Yes, with your help, will you return the pieces of the dream crystal to the Nexus and restore a much needed balance to this world? Travel through the portals to each dream and find the shattered remains of the crystal. That is the part you play. This is your role. Um, I am ready now? Good. Took you long enough. Wasting no more time, I see. Excellent. You've learned quickly. Or you just kind of accepted it because this is a video game. Now we'll see if you can maintain that level of spirit throughout the journey. One last thing. Though you may only be required to enter specific dreams, there are some that are, let's say, hidden in the darker corners. That's right, the secret levels in this game as well, I know how you love that shit. Now you're gonna find snow globes in all kinds of Silent Hill ass places, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Here we really into it, just rubbing your face on every wall and hope she finds something. In other words, try not to let your taste for exploration wane too much. Now go, we are all watching. Judging, silently, menacingly. We're gonna just judge the hell out of you. Okay. Okay, so I got one more question. Why are you wearing short? You know what? Maybe I don't want to know that question. Answer. Do not ask why I am wearing shorts. Goji, hey, buddy. You dare not know the truth. See this big turkey here? What? What's? Have you always been friends with the? Hey, come back here. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. All right, so we just do we just walk into it? Oh. Meow. I love it. It's so dreamcasty, which I did not grow up on. Oh, hello. Oh. Hey, it turned back on the UI. Help a friend. Uh, one second, Goji. Yeah, I just... Where the fuck are we? A hey, Goji! You doing okay, man? Your face is a bit funky. What is this? Is this gonna eat me? No. Okay, we're good. <laughs> That'd be like a half-life. So, is our first level, like, dinosaur-themed? Or really dig in the, the jungle look? Usually that means dinosaurs, but... Wow. I love the music! 
I love this game. Oh, Goji! Oh, shit, man. Okay, so something killed Goji and is now wearing his skin. Um... Yeah, no, who, who, who are you? Hee <laughs> hee, hi there. So good to see you again. You don't remember me? I'm your old pal, Goji. Are you, are you Goji? I don't think you're Goji. Yeah, Goji, <laughs> in, in quotation marks, thank you. Talk about long time no see. Don't have to remember my original voice now. I'm now creepy. Hmm. <laughs> Creepy is also your old man voice. I think this says more about you than it does me, Bex. <laughs> Talk about long time no see. Anyways, looks like we both ended up in some dark, nasty scum cave. That's mean. These crystals sure are pretty, though. But I think I saw an even shinier one somewhere up ahead. You should go and check it out. I totally won't take this time to eat your dreams or something creepy like that. It sure would be a nice little memento to take back with us. Yeah, now I know you're not. Well, have fun! Oh. Yeah, Goji ain't looking too hot, guys. I think me forgetting how to do it, what voice I gave him is the least of his worries. This place is neat, though. Yo! Okay, that's dangerous. Scroblin? I kind of love it. <laughs> hmm? Who might you be? New worker, perhaps? <laughs> Guess foreman France got in a hold of another poor sap. You shouldn't just be standing around here talking. We'll both get the boot. Or worse, docked pay. Oh, God. If you need something to do, go find the foreman. She's probably skulking around here somewhere. Okay. So find the foreman. Is that... Is that her up there? Can I climb up vines? Oh, no. Can I touch this lava? Yes. It's water. Look how pretty this is. This is so neat. <laughs> Ooh, mine. There's an old pickaxe here. The name Gib is etched into the metal surface. It's probably best you don't take something that doesn't belong to you. So you leave it there. Ah, damn it. I can't, I can't take a weapon to reclaim Goji's skin. Look at this place. It's like, um... Gives me Spyro vibes. I'm digging it. There's a rickety signpost planted in the ground. It has a hastily written message scrawled on it. Danger, mineshaft, cave in ahead. Proceed with caution, high risks of- Oh no, I'm reading this wrong, I'm sorry. <coughs> Danger, mineshaft, cave in ahead. Proceed with caution, high risk of structural collapse. Uh, my sister, who is only one room away from me, probably loves that I still scream while playing occasionally. <laughs> I don't stream at the moment, so uh, she she doesn't. I don't scream as much, but when I do, she knows. Hey, Stegs. Word got that one of our sages went down there and somehow got themselves trapped. Total buffoon. Guessing they shook some of the looser rocks for and created a cave in too. I'm gonna need an expert chiseler pronto. Dagnabbit, where is Gib at? Gotta find Gib. Oh. Away! Actually, we can ride in this. Huh. Oh. So we need to find the foreman, and we need to find Gib. Jib? Is it Gib as in Goblin, or is it Gib, Jib as in Giblets? Which is a very Goblin name, you have to admit. Overseer Og. Hey, hey, no idle chitter-chatter during work hours. Get back to work or so help me. 
Foreman France put me in charge of watching you lazy bums, and I'm not giving you an inch. I got lunch in a half hour, so put your backs into it. If I see even one of you slacking off. <laughs> what are you guys even mining? Like, radioactive emeralds or something? Should I really be in here? This the glowy green things tend to be bad. We've been chiseling nonstop for 11 hours now. Even just a couple minutes break would be absolute heaven. Huh? that's definitely realistic. Foreman says she spotted some weird relic high up on that island, but we can't reach it, so to heck with it. So to the heck of it with it. Blah, blah. Is there the thing I need up there then? Oh. This job sucks, but every generation of my family has worked here. I don't have any other skills, so it's my only option. Oh wow. Getting oddly, uh, oddly downer for our first uh, dream, aren't we? Now, I don't know if this is going to move semi-linearly like the first game in terms of going from happy to nightmare in terms of the dreams. I, I'm assuming it's going to follow that at least a little, but I don't know if that's it's going to be held strictly like in the first game. With exception of the hidden level, the first game very strictly went from happy to nightmare. So I don't know if that's the case here as well, because this, this feels oddly... Uh, not definitely dream, but if, if this is the happiest dream of the game, oh no. <laughs> Can't you see I'm busy? Go bug someone else. Then again, if you have nostalgia for Spyro, I'm sure you <laughs> I'm sure this uh, dream is like kick ass to you. I get different colors now. Ugh. Hmm? Someone there? Hey, that's Gib, lazy Gib. Alright, alright, I'm up. What you want? I want you to do the, the, your job. Jeez, you here to boss me back to work or something? I can't get a little micro nap for crying out loud. Maybe you shouldn't be doing it in the way of the move, uh, you know, how to go forward. What even is the big deal? I'd say on any given day, I do about 15 minutes of real actual work. Oh no, it's a zoomer. It's, it's not that I'm lazy. It's just that I don't really care, but whatever. Judge me how you want. But well, hold up, you... Everyone else is breaking their back, 11 hour shifts. And you, you work, oh my god. That damn foreman's had her head up, I mean, head so far up her own butt ever since that relic appeared. She doesn't even care about the crystal halls anymore. If you wanna go and talk to her, she's on the ridge up ahead. Better hope she's in a good mood, pal. Whoa. You still hanging around? Dang, and I thought people said I was the lazy one. Well, what are you waiting for? Go up and talk to the foreman. How do you still have your job? Hup. Okay, so pressing shift mid-jump speeds up your jump. <laughs> That's why I reacted the way I did. I'm gonna see what's up here. Can't you see I'm busy? Go bug someone else. Oh, okay. This is already super cool. Like, I really am digging this game already. Oh. oh, wait. I hear there's, like, a guy who's making a point to document what's behind every, uh, waterfall in games. Okay, nothing behind this one, dude. I'm rubbing my face on it to make sure there's no hidden things. <laughs> Saving him a bit of time. <laughs> I don't know the details on that. I heard about it from Ross's game dungeon. Honestly, I believe it. There's a lot of games that have stuff behind the waterfalls. Uh, Guild Wars 2 alone will give you quite a run for your money on things behind waterfalls. They are working diligently. Blech. I can read. It's not 2.30 a.m. as I record this. Your face is 2.30 a.m. while I record this. Before you guys say something, I'm nocturnal. Don't freak out. <laughs> I love... I love, like, this... I don't know. It really does feel like a dream inspired by Spyro. <laughs> I'm digging it. I've said that a billion times. <laughs> hey. Hmm? 
Hey, you. Yeah, you. You look like the laziest bum I've ever laid my eye on. You must have dropped in hot off the hopeless worker assembly line. I'm gonna cut to the chase and skip the formalities. You square up, you little runt, because I got an important job for you. You see that fancy floating platform over there and the magnificent looking shard sitting on top of it? Well, it's mine, because I was the first to see it. It's claimed and locked tight under my ownership as of now. I don't think you know what the job of a foreman is. As for you, I'm in a decent mood, so I'll let you take a guess at what I'm gonna have to you do about it. Mmm, go home? Home? You are home, and great. This is the best home you'll ever have, so get used to it. Guess again, punk. Take a break? <laughs> that's rich, truly rich. The only break I'll give you is a break in the face. Guess again, punk. I get it for you. Bingo, bingo. There's a catch, though. The only way across is that... The only way across is with some good old-fashioned cave magic. But my unreliable cave sage, Bernard, is nowhere to be found. Probably off snoozing somewhere in the deep mine, as usual. Go and find him and tell him to get his butt over here so he can create some kind of bridge to the relic. Get it and then move it. Okay, but doesn't give or whoever need a... Need a... Okay. Oh. So there is no fall damage. We have confirmed that. <laughs> oh wait, another waterfall? Let me check for the dude. This beautiful Kool-Aid Falls. Yep, nothing behind the beautiful Kool-Aid Falls. I really doubt he's ever gonna see this video, but you never know. Yo, asshole! Do what you're paid for. How much do you get paid? She told you to do what now? Ah, oh, typical foreman Fran. Always delegating the most pointless of tasks to her underlings. That's literally the job of a foreman. Look, man, life's too short to be running around licking boots all the time, but hey, you do you. As for me, I got too much self-respect to be down here any longer, so I'm giving up the mining career for good. If you're adamant on rolling with the foreman's punches, feel free to take my pickaxe. I left it somewhere around here. Have a good time, sucker. Okay. Look, I'm not a follower. I'm a betrayer. There's a difference. I'm gonna do everything she says up until the point where I can steal the shard for myself. That's what I do learned from video games long ago, okay? You fall in line until it's time to backstab and get what you want, okay? Video games taught me this. It has yet to steer me wrong within the realm of video games. <laughs> this is the part where all my friends are like, um... <laughs> oh wait, Matt, I, I need your pickaxe, don't I? The floor's got this, um... Kind of like a chalk zone-y kind of look to it. It looks fine. It's just kind of... Got a little drawn look to it. Hold up. Oh, I think so. I, I, like, I knew I walked past it, and I thought it was in this rock, and now I'm like, where'd it go? <laughs> this must be Gibbs pickaxe, but you guess he won't be needed anymore. Despite the bolder sturdy grip, you managed to dislodge it and take it with you. You hope this rusty thing holds together. How much does it weigh? Yo. Hey, where'd you get that pickaxe from? Looks a lot like Gibbs. Well, he was supposed to dig this rubble out, but I guess you'll do. Alright, then go ahead and give that pile of rocks over there a good whack and hope they break loose. I'll just be back here. Doing nothing. Just watching and judging. You know. Hoisting the heavy pickaxe over your shoulder, you bring yourself into a steady swinging stance. The thing is heavier than it looks. And a big swing! The rock wall never stood a chance, but to no surprise, neither did your rucky pickaxe. Great. Oh well, you should at least be able to ride the service cart down into the shaft now. Or you can walk- oh, I can't walk. <laughs> or you can walk like an idiot. <laughs> yeah, I've seen better. Could've at least broke him up cleaner. Guess I'll go update the foreman now. Don't you go wandering around in the deep mine now. Whoever's down there ain't worth bothering over. No, I, I need the magic man. Right, we gotta go see Magic Man. An old minecart is in here. Take a ride down the mine. Uh, where's my mouse? I don't have a mouse anymore for some reason. Where'd my mouse go? Uh, it wasn't being recorded to begin with, so don't worry if you guys never saw it before. But now it's gone completely. I can use my keyboard, though. Uh, 
Looks fun. The old riggedy wheels of the minecar begin to roll. S hold on to something. Whee! Yee! Woo! Oh shit. Oh, um. Uh, oh no, this ain't fun anymore. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Get this shit off my screen. Now we definitely get into Spyro level territory. Huh. Oh. Oh, this is blinding. Oh. Up. Oh. Whoop. Yo, are you the magic man? There's like a hole here. And there's a seam on the hole, which means I know this will be gone in a minute. Yo, magic man. Well, hello there. Don't these crystals radiate with the most hypnotic glow? I find myself just staring at them sometimes. So what brings you down here? How did I cross the lava? Did you come all this way to avoid that crazed lunatic of a foreman too? Uh, I like the rocks. Yes, they do have quite the sparkle to them this time of year, don't they? Not as sparkly as that weird relic up top, but still. Feel free to join me and let your worries melt away. You know. Because of the lava and all. <laughs> so he acknowledges it. I mean... I do dig the shinies. And if this was me in real life, I'd be like, Oh, can I take this back to the waking world, please? <laughs> hmm, anything else I can help you with? Excluding anything to do with the foreman, of course. Uh, the foreman. Ah, oh, foreman Fran used to back... Ugh, Foreman Fran needs me back up top, doesn't she? Guess it, and it's for that tantalizing shard or something or other. I can guarantee handing that over to the Foreman will only spell disaster. They don't call me a sage for nothing. That shard is trouble. I'm an old man and very tired nowadays. I have no desire to continue helping that lumbering loop maniac. Unless... Unless... Unless you grab the shard before her, of course. Take it with you, escape this damp, disgusting cavern, and never return. That was my plan all along. Congratulations, you really are a sage. <laughs> Sound like a deal? Great. I want Fran to learn a bit of a lesson here. Don't just hire random strangers you're not even paying to do shit for you. She can't just claim everything she lays her eye on. It kind of is against the concept of a foreman. They're like a middle management kind of job, I think. I think. I've never worked in a mine. <laughs> I've been around a while, and if there's one thing I've picked up on, it's that you gotta earn things. Put the hard work in. Fran acting so entitled to everything around her gives me the headache of a lifetime. So this should be a nice change of pace. Anyways, I think it's settled. I'll see you back there then. Don't mind that hot stuff behind me on your way back, will you? Whoa! 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 It was filled with lava! Ha <laughs> ha! What? Oh no, I meant to kill myself. Did I kill myself? Oh no, I didn't kill myself! I found a thing! I just wanted to kill myself because it was a very... Temper control. It was a very distinctive pool of lava, so I thought if I jumped into it, it'd be funny. Because then I burned to death in the pool of lava that was very distinctive compared to the backdrop. This place is chill as fuck. Anyway. Yeah, that's what I was expecting that... No, wait. How did I... You can tell it's a new level because they changed my UI. Yep. 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 Yo, dude, 
dude, I have no idea what's happening here. Hello? Hello? For crying out loud! The signal is always all over the place down here. Mm -hmm. What the heck do you want? He just dropped in? Must be here to interview for that empty position. Even though we're totally in hell, I'm not gonna say hell because there's no cursing in heck. I had to sneak over here and try to get better reception for a very important e-meeting I'm supposed to be on soon. My boss, Chet, because of course his name is Chet, has been on my tail all day about getting a beefy after-action report on the new social media stocks. If you want to talk to him, he's up at our office, pacing around like a madman. Now give me some space, will you? You're like, straight up a demon. No shit, Sherlock. Huh. I'm just straight up in hell. Huh. It's kind of chill. I'm digging the music. Oh. I'm gonna be honest, I did not expect to go to hell in, like, in, like, the first level. Like, I know it's not gonna be believable because I found a hidden level without looking it up, but I genuinely did not see this coming. <laughs> like, I genuinely was like, oh, that's a pool of lava that was closed a moment ago. Wouldn't it be funny if I walked in it and, and, and immediately caught fire? There is a signpost with three different arrows on it. You can barely make out the scorch writing. It reads... West Path, Security Chief Heckler's Office, North Path, uh, Telestar CEO Summit, East Path, Telestar Call Center. I don't know which way is north, though. I don't know where any of those places are, to be honest. Well, it looks like I can't go two of the three ways, at least, so... Uh, oh. 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 What do you do? Oh, no, 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 no. Hey. You're not allowed to do that. This is supposed to be a walking sim. Oh. Oh, no. This is hell. They get cell phones, but they don't get computers. Yes, yes. What do you want now? Why are you not taking any calls? You're losing sales and money for heck's sake. I love how they don't say hell. Uh, wait a moment. You must be the new employee the CEO mentioned. You're two minutes late to your interview. Typical. Well, if I'm already in- wait, if I'm already an employee, then I'm not- why am I doing an interview? This is for the very important position of our head telemarketer Telestar intern role. So don't waste my time. Oh wait, telemarketing, I just realized. Oh no. If you're serious about this job, go give word to the CEO up on the summit. You'll need to gain clearance first though. Find our security chief Heckler. Should be slacking off on his little perch to the west. He could be a little testy, so good luck, chump. Headsets. If you're a telemarketer and they don't even give you headsets, oh man. Up. 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 Shit. Up. 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 Maybe it's a good thing I'm like. Could you imagine everyone jumping on those at the same time? Uh. Oh, cool. Someone played Mario 64 uh, before going to bed. Wouldn't these things be like incredibly hot? I hope I'm not barefoot. Then again, I don't think I have a hundred percent physical body. Someone 100% played Mario before going to bed, 
wrote it in their dream diary, and then and then Soda Raptor turned it into a game level. Hey. Sleepy noises. He's sleeping? We don't have time for this. What do you want to do? Poke him? You gently tap Heckler to wake him up. It doesn't seem to do much. Hmm. Nudge him. You give Heckler a good nudge. Huh? huh? <laughs> he even sounds like... Oh, I bet this is one of those things they had to... Ch okay, so I bet this actually was the level for Mario, and then they had to change it to, like, be legally distinct for the game or some shit. Uh -huh. What? How dare you? The audacity! What the heck do you want me past? I can't believe you woke me up! I should roll right over you right now! Then I'll bust the alarm with my eye laser! Wait, let me go up and see our CEO! You think I want any annoying fly like you making a partner with him? <coughs> you look no more like the strength of smashing in you, boy, just for making me mad! <laughs> How do you think I found this hidden level? You sleeping, better not bother him again. Go see the CEO. <laughs> Genuinely disappointed. Oh, here we go. Uh, a portal? Oh. 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 Oh no. Okay, it's only some of them. Ones that have no base. I think I need that. Do the hidden levels have shards? Like, am I... Is this one of those things where if I didn't discover this on accident, I have to visit on purpose later? I mean, I would, just because, but... You the dude? Hey again! Still slacking off and running around like a cleat knot, are you? The big man upstairs sees everything we do, newbie. What? I'm a hard worker and do what I'm told, though. So whatever you get up to doesn't bother me. You won't last long around here. <laughs> Let's make a deal. I know you're keen on trekking your way up there, so I'll help you out. The path ahead is pretty long-winded. If you want, I can have you all the way up the mountain in a flash. No strings attached. Well, except maybe a little bit of your soul. What do you say? Exchange a bit of your soul for a quick passage to the summit? I'll only give you one chance. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm good. Hey, suit yourself, Squirt. The sides ain't too bad on your way up. Just don't fall into any of that spicy stuff, and you'll be fine. <laughs> I wonder what happens if we said yes. Would we actually skip it? Like, I straight up just want to go up. 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 It's not too bad. The waviness kind of, like, wakes you wobbly a little. Just a little. Hey, it's what's his face? Hi, what's your face? He's sleeping. I know it'd be faster if I just went the other way, but eh. Would he like spawn me here or something like that if I said yes? For here? Absolutely nothing. Oh, wait. The shit? Sorry, I missed you. Are you the secretary? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, yes. Can I help you? Mr. Stan told me I could get my own desk over here on this side of the mountain, so it should be fine. He said that if I stay here at my own desk, I'd be given a promotion. I've been here for six days now, so it should be any day. I'll tell him soon if I have to wait any longer that I'm going to quit. And I told that to Ched and Calls, too. I saw him with my step stapler yesterday. Oh, no, I get it. If I see anyone who touched my stapler again, I'm gonna set the whole mountain on fire. The mountain's already on fire. 
Anyway. Dares disturb my dank lava bath. Yo, dude, you are cool. Look at you, man. Damn. Oh, yo, what's up? You must be that new scrub from the place down the block or whatever. Look, I'm a little sweaty there, bro. Can I get you a towel? Welcome, welcome. Everything you see is mine. Even those sniveling hopefuls down there. I inherited it all. Um, well, earned it all. So, I've been hearing from my underlings we're looking for a new Telstar intern. You think you're up to snuff? I've got a lot riding on this. I'm going to see if you're worth the investment. So here's a little job for you. You see, my current employees have been a little slack lately. Stakeholder Jet seems to think he's in charge of a lot more than he is. He's been really pushing my buttons lately, and that's no good. My security chief Heckler is constantly sleeping on the job every chance he can get. He's a sloppy waste of resources. I need them both gone, kaput, flushed, fired. I'm giving you temporary power of termination. Go down there and bury those credence. Come back when the task is done, capiche? Okay. Dude is, dude is pretty cool, man. Okay, so I assume once I do what I want, like, the exit will be right there. Alright, dude, you chill out, I'll be right back. Whee! This is the wrong side of the mountain. <laughs> You ever have one of those days where you get so mad about something, you just lose all rational thought? So mad your socially constructed filter turns off and you go on an impulsive rampage? Yeah, actually. Pretty pa pretty natural to me, actually. You sound pretty passionate about it. <laughs> I respect that. No judgment here. Gotta get angry sometimes. Have you considered playing a game by the name of Doom? Does great for my... Oh, wait, maybe you shouldn't play Doom. Knowing when to shut your mouth is when the real challenge comes along. You look like you enjoy a nice challenge. Keep going. Fuck you, too. Alright, let's... Heckler's metal gate is closed again. There's a little note, new note attached. Still napping. If the runt from earlier is reading this, go eat dirt. Thanks. Rogue Grumpster, guess you could always come back later. Oop. Not if I fall in the lava. Up. Up. Huh? Here we go. Yo, what's up? About time. Stocks have dropped 0.001% since we last spoke. Anyway, I've received word from the CEO that we're good to proceed to the next step. Although, he was acting strange earlier. Told me, hope you know how to swim, whatever that means, in the saw. Ah, well, are you ready to start the blasted initiation now? Sure. Okay then, let's begin before a callback log gets any more backed up than it already is. Why do you want to work with us? Money. Money? Only a hapless stew to reward for such a worthless material object. We're family here, and the reward of a job well done is money enough. Why? This is not exactly, you know, passionate dreams type of work here. You are, you are scum of the under-earth, my friend. <laughs> you failed the test. To no one's surprise. You still want the job. Maybe don't act like a clueless fool next time and you'll have better luck. Be gone. Hold up. We're in hell. You work for a call center. You ask me why I would want to work for a call center. And when I say money, you say no. It's a call center. 
This is not exactly working for for some glorious children's welfare kind of thing. It's not some save the rainforest. You guys look like you wouldn't want to save the rainforest, all things in consideration. And, you know, it, you're in hell. <sighs> okay. Okay, then. Let's begin before call... Yep, yep, yep. Um... Spite. Spite, yes. The amount of energy and levels of productivity are never higher than when spite is involved. Work to spite your neighbor, then crush them. <laughs> Fuck you, people on the other line of this call. What is your ideal work environment? Clean is a good answer, but... Hectic, yes. Absolute chaos and complex multitasking is the only way to accomplish as many goals as our shareholders set for us revel in it. And finally, what do you see yourself doing in five years? Retiring. Your job. My job? You know, with an answer like that, you've got to have moxie. You'd be in dreamland if you ever think you'll rise above me, but I respect that nonetheless. Well, you've passed the test by the grace of some unholy miracle. Congratulations. You are now proudly our new telemarketer, Telestar intern. Well, go find your empty desk and get to work. And grab me a coffee. Extra sugar. On the double. You're fired. Wait, what? I'm fired? Don't make me laugh. You can't fire me. You don't have the authority. What makes you think you could do such a thing? First of all, we're in hell. Since when did demons give a shit about authority? Second of all... I've worked here for centuries, and all I've done is keep track of callous idiots and schmucks like you, always micromanaging the brainless masses. If I deserve to be fired, then by heck may the molten depths of despair take me right now and put me beneath this great lake of wretched magma. Uh, I was really expecting something to happen. See? You have no power here, worm. I will overtake our CEO, and you'll be the first on my list to cold call and shovel paperwork for all eternity. Right? <laughs> huh? W wait. There's no wait. How? You can't do this to me on the backbone of this company. And then they all clapped. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, uh, uh, you'll be seeing me on r slash that happened. Bye. Whee! Oh. Oh. I like them apples. I see Chet is hot on his way to the seventh circle of unemployment hat. I mean, heck. Guessing you're going up to report this to Security Chief Heckler. Be a real shame if he somehow fell off that perch of his. <laughs> Think I'll enjoy watching her over here. Gonna be a riot seeing what you have in store for Stan. Keep going. If we did sell our so a bit of our soul to him, I wonder if that would change things. Seems to want to do something to uh, Satan up there. Sorry, uh, Stan. He knows we're coming for him. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, oh no. Hey man. How was your nap? Hey, you, you hear a dog. I just woke up from my nap to the sound of some loud rumbling, and I look over to see one of our officers plunging into the magma. Looking down the walls, how much I need my beauty sleep. So I'm not a puke. Do you even have a mouth? As Tell Star stand up and hold up and security chief I'm placing you under the rest. What do you do to save for yourself? You're fired. Fired? You can't fire the best of all security chief this company's ever had. I found it up to you with your shenanigans, fool. The CEO will hand me a promotion and a silver bar for putting you in the ground. This is payback for waking me from my sleep. Oh shit. Is that laser eyes? I can't tell. I'm too close to you. Oh. Oh shit. Oh wait, 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 oh, hold up. Uh, this is a day for an election now. Oh shit. He did that one to himself. 
see you next fall? I hear it's gonna be hot this year. Nailed it. There we go. Up. Up. Surprised we didn't have to kill him Mario style. Seems like a real possibility. Alright. Let's go fire the CEO. As I said before, I'm kind of a backstabber kind of person. Hey, man. We just keep running into each other, don't we? I see you've been up in your productivity lately. <laughs> the big man up top wants a few words with you, I heard. Can't tell what his angle is, but your brown nosing is sure to win him over. Anyway, I can get you up there again if you're feeling eager or you're just lazy. Same deal as last time. What do you say? Exchange a bit of your soul for quick passage to the summit? Last chance. No, I'm good. Why everyone always declines such a generous offer, I will never understand. You do know it'll grow back, right? My soul? Oh well, pity. I guess there's always next time. <laughs> Souls grow back? It's <laughs> the first time I've heard that going. <laughs> I like that. I'm gonna- I'm gonna say that to someone next time I demand their soul. Yeah, here they are, back again. Well, 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 if it isn't my newest number one employee, you've done quite the favors lately. You know, if Chat and Hackler haven't been half the workers you are, maybe they wouldn't have ended up deep fried and roasted in lava. I've got a lot planned for you, my friend. A big world awaits with you as my glorious pack mule. If you work hard, work long, and never lose your focus, you too one day can buy me another mountain to kick back on. So here I have for you an offer you can't refuse. What do you say? Are you in, or are you in? You're fired. Ah, oh, I guess you're smarter than you seem at first appearance. I never took away your power of temporary termination. I can already feel all the influence of accumulated Wayne, all the power gained throughout my career stepping on the people beneath me. The power of a thousand worlds and a billion people all compacted into my desire to have more, all about to crash back down from above. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Now everything I've taken will be yours. Guess we're not so different after all, huh? <laughs> Keep it up and you're gonna go far, kid. Oh. Um. What? Oh, hold up. Oh no. Oh no, I fucked up. Oh no, I fucked up. I fucked up. Um. I fucked up. Uh, uh... Hey. I fucked up. Uh... Dazzler? Dizzle? Shizzle? Whatever the fuck your name was. Uh... I, I fucked up. <laughs> very nice. Very nice! He had to have known his reign was coming to an end. No king rules forever. Too bad. Nevertheless, I think things are gonna start cooling off around here thanks to you. Bang up job, as usual. You have a habit of getting things back in order. Quite eloquently, I might add. Has anyone ever told you that? <laughs> no, but they have told me I have serious hat kid energy, which I really agree with in this game. Well, anyway, I know you've got a pretty busy schedule, so I won't take up any more of your time. Let me know if you need a ride back home. Oh, cool. Um, I'll come back after I explore a bit. Oh, look at that. It's just straight up. Oh, wait, can I not go down the mountain? Let me just... Oh, straight up. Can I not jump down the mountain? Oh, no. Oh, no, I can't go down the mountain. Can't even look all the way around. Oh no. 
Actually... No? Oh, wow. I think We've dried up hell, guys. We've removed the lava from hell. I'm sure this will be just fine. I guess there's no... Collectible here. It's just a funny little moment. Okay. Turn to the world above? Yeah, I guess. So long. Bye. You look like one of the cows from that one sports team. Got the achievement under new management. Help a friend. Yeah, I I I dried up hell. Oh no, all the lava here's dried up too. That's funny. Gotta turn off the HUD again. That's real funny. Look at this. The minecart creaks as it begins to move. Sounds like it's about to fall apart. This will be fine. Oh. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> How's it going this fast uphill? Whoops. Oh. This old dilapidated rust bucket will no longer move. Thank you for your service, faithful minecart. Bye, baby. Ugh. Thank you. Um. Oh no, the water is green now. It's it's turned into ecto Kool Aid. Oh wait, maybe it's the magic man's doing. Yeah, is this place supposed to be like this green? Is this okay? Oh no. Where is everybody? Did I kill him with the Ecto Cooler? Oh no. I didn't know the goblins were dependent on the Kool Aid. Oh, they're all up here. Hey, everybody. How's it going? They're all waiting impatiently. Finally, I can get my hands on that precious floating shard. It's been hypnotically calling me ever since it showed up, and now it will be mine. Sage, work your magic and build me that bridge. Jeez. The sage appears to be concentrating. I can't believe. Can't believe that. Uh, wait, wait, old man voice. I forgot how to do old man voice. I can't believe I dragged myself up here for this. The woes of such a niche career. Okay, once the bridge appears, you can hop over and grab the shard. What you do with it is up to you, but just know that the handing it over to the foreman is quite the rotten idea. Hmm. I will finally settle down and retire after all these weird shenanigans. My old bones need a re well-deserved rest. Get on with the ma bridge magic, Bernard. I don't have all day, old man. Uh -huh. y y yes. Oh, magic platforms materialize before me now. Alakazam! Ooh. How convenient. You not gonna say anything? Uh, okay. Oh, well, um, bye. Totally not gonna betray- God fucking did- Alright, I'm gonna go grab that and totally not betray you or whatever. On these floating cookies of doom. Up, 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 up. Hey, that's my artifact! Stop them now! Whoa, man. Nice. Right, real quick. Oh, yeah, it's got like a thing on it. So you cannot replay old levels. Anyway, I am going to call it there for today. Let's get a good, nice exit visual going. There we go. I am going to call it there for today. Thank you, guys. I'm... I'm really enjoying this so far, digging the vibes. It's a lot like the first game. Well, it's a continuation of the first game. Um, 
and I, I, it's if you, I liked the first game. Makes sense. I like this one, right? And I'm just digging it, man. I'm just digging it. <laughs> um, interesting that we've already found a hidden level, but I wonder, like in hindsight, the pit of lava is a little obvious because it was hit it revealed to us and all that stuff but i wonder if they're gonna be that obvious in the future like i said i might need to go back and like replay it or whatever for an extra episode or at the end of the last episode or something i'll figure that out when the time comes um i'll also keep an eye out for hidden levels i'll actually try to actively find them because it was a real stroke of luck that i'm i immediately thought wouldn't it be funny if i Jumped into the lava. That's very particular. Uh, <laughs> so I'm, I doubt I'll get that lucky again. So I will make a more active approach into trying to find the hidden levels. Um, but yeah, I overall really enjoy this so far. Uh, the visuals are just masterful again. Just every level is just all kinds of interest and vibage. I love it. And yeah, I guess I'm going to call it there for today. Thank you guys so much for coming by. Please, join me next time. I love you. Wow, that one was really bad. And bye bye